is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with a brand new fantasy booking video for you guys using the wwe action figures man we got a lot of them lined up here today we are going to be going through the wwe royal rumble for 2023 and i'm excited for the show man can't wait i'm going to be flying out there to san antonio to uh, to take in the sights go to the show i'm gonna hit up wrestlecon probably the superstore i'm super excited for it, man i i cannot wait to get there but but the Royal Rumble is one of my favorite shows, and it's probably my favorite stipulation match or favorite, you know, event every single year. I just love the camaraderie around it. I love the money in the bank as well, you know, but the Royal Rumble is special. It's always been a special thing as a kid. You know, I couldn't get every single pay-per-view, but I always made sure to order the Royal Rumble. It was always a tradition in the household, and I cannot wait to be there live to witness the Royal Rumble this year. But today we're going to be fantasy booking the entire pay-per-view, man. Basically, what these videos are if you aren't aware basically i i used to say vince mcmahon i don't know if he's behind the scenes he may be a baby he may be behind the scenes of this this show but typically what we do here is triple h or whoever the hell's in charge over there now is basically giving me the keys or saying here mdt here trey take the keys and you get to book this show on into the next few months so you get the royal rumble and you get the next few months after that you whatever you say goes you make the final decisions book the show this is that video where i would book that entire show and you know the months preceding or what the long-term plans would be for said show. And today, we're, we're we're talking about the Royal Rumble, baby. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Fantasy booking, WWE Royal Rumble 2023. Let's get the hell into it. So our first matchup on the card is actually going to be Bianca Belair and Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship. Now, coming into this thing, I'm actually kind of intrigued by this match because I don't know what's going to happen, but I have a feeling it's a big four pay-per-view, man. Some freaky shish is going to go down. This isn't a predictions video. This is fantasy booking. So what I get to say goes... And and in this matchup, man, I have some freaky, eeky dish going on. And I think something to do with Uncle Howdy, with Bray Wyatt, with all of the stuff going on with Bray Wyatt, man, I think we're going to get some freaky shish. I would have something happen with Bray Wyatt. I'd have something to do with Uncle Howdy, maybe a distraction or whatever. And Bianca Belair is going to end up losing the Raw Women's Championship to Alexa Bliss. So in my Royal Rumble show, I would have Alexa Bliss win from some freaky BS, and she would be the new Raw Women's Champion. So, I feel like you can't be toying with this. You know, you can't have the Uncle Howdy and the weirdness going on behind the scenes and all these different vignettes and all these promos and stuff. You can't be doing that and then just not have anything big happen from it. So, in that case, I'm going to have to pull the trigger and put the championship on Alexa Bliss and have her conquer Bianca Belair here at the Royal Rumble. Not clean. It would be off some, you know, some BS or some Bray Wyatt freaky eeky ish and that's what we would have. So that would be my Raw Women's Championship football game. Speaking of Bray Wyatt freaky ish for Bray Wyatt and LA Knight man I mean it's a pitch black Mountain Dew football game. You know I don't really give a damn at this point Bray Wyatt's going over because you cannot sacrifice this guy again. You know what I'm saying? He had the moment with Undertaker on Raw 30 I mean you cannot just throw this ish away. You gotta capitalize on this while it's hot. Bray Wyatt beats LA Knight convincingly. I'd honestly make it a squash match. Bray Wyatt wins convincingly. It's the only way to do it. That's how I'd book it. That one was pretty quick, but it's pretty easy, man. Some things you don't have. You know what? Sometimes the obvious thing is the best thing. Next up, we have Roman Reigns. One of the matches that I'm most looking forward to out outside of the Royal Rumble, obviously, but we have sort of a crazy sort of events going on right here, man. I want you to think long and hard right here. This is kind of cool and uh, it, it's kind of outside the box, but again, I'm fantasy booking this, so, you know, it's not what I think is going to happen. It's kind of, if I was put in charge of creative, I think, uh, you know, you could pull some ish out of a hat. So here's what I would do, man. We have Roman Reigns, WWE Universal Champion or World Heavyweight Universal Champion going one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Owens. If anybody knows, you know, we've had the, the Sami Zayn trial, which I thought was just magnificent the other night on Monday Night Raw. Just a fantastic segment. You know, we've been dealing with that a lot. I think that something interesting happened on the Friday Night Smackdown beforehand, right? So if you guys remember when KO cleared the ring and he came out and attacked the bloodline and he took his, you know, he, he stunned Roman, he took out the Usos, he took out Solo, he put Roman through the table, he picks up the contract, he signs it, and then if you notice something, when Sami Zayn runs down to the ring, if you don't believe me, go back and watch it after. Sami Zayn runs down to the ring and what does Kevin Owens do? He like throws the contract. This is why Sami Zayn right here is holding this WWE contract right here. So, this is what I would have. If you guys notice back on that uh, back on that segment, Kevin Owens throws 
throws the contract to Sami Zayn. Then he retreats into the into the stairs of the arena, like leaving the arena, right? He's in the crowd. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are locking eyes, and Kevin is just sitting there. And then Sami Zayn, what's he do? He opens up the contract and looks down at it, and he's kind of like nodding a little bit there. And I would have it where it turns out, and you guys remember on Monday Night Raw, Sami Zayn, Roman Reigns did not want to see Sami Zayn until the Royal Rumble. All this time, he could be behind the scenes with Kevin Owens. So when we get to the Royal Rumble and it's time for Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens, we're going to have the match. Everybody's going to be out there. Sami Zayn, the Uso Solo. Everybody's going to be at ringside. Paul Heyman, all the stuff's there. Before the matchup starts, I guess you would have to have Adam Pearce comes out before the matchup and he says, ho, 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 this is not going to be the championship match that takes place here tonight. And everybody's confused and like, what the hell are you talking about? And Adam Pearce is going to say, Kevin Owens, your name is not on the contract for this championship match. The name on this contract is Sami Zayn. And everybody's going to be like, what the hell? And then the revelation will happen that Kevin Owens actually signed Sami Zayn's name. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens reveal that they are, in fact, teaming up. And the match would take place. Roman Reigns would fight Sami Zayn. It'd be this epic clash. You know, you'd have the Usos interfere, Solo interfere, Kevin Owens interfere, like all the different nicks and crannies and the bells and whistles. But ultimately, Sami Zayn would fall to Roman Reigns. He would lose the matchup, whether it's clean or not. I would say dirty. I'd say the Usos or Solo end up getting involved. I guess the Usos would get involved there. So what would happen from this is we would end up having Sami and Kevin fighting the Usos at WrestleMania for the Tag Championship. So that would be where that would come in and that would tie in. And then at the Elimination Chamber, Roman Reigns would defend the championship in the chamber versus Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, you know, whoever the hell you want to put in there. He would win the chamber and then after the chamber match, The Rock would come out after the chamber and challenge Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, setting up Sami Zayn and KO versus the Usos, and then Roman versus The Rock at WrestleMania for one of the two championships there. So that would be how I would book this matchup right here. A little bit of twist, a little bit of cranny, a little bit of creative there. Just some things I've thought of. I guess it, it, it technically it could happen, but uh, that's my fantasy booking of this matchup. Let me know what you guys think about that one. So getting into the Women's Royal Rumble, man, I'm not going to sit up here and just get every single contestant and break down every single entrant 1 through 30 because I don't think it's that serious. The Women's Rumble is kind of crazy because they only have like five entrants announced. When we get into my predictions video, we'll get into more of what I expect out of the Rumble and breaking down my full analysis of what I think will happen at the show in the match. But for the Women's Royal Rumble, man, I predict Damage Control, Bailey, Dakota Kai, EO Sky forming some teams in this. I think this will be a Rumble of teams. You know, I'd have Damage Control do some work. I think I would have Ronda and Shayna do some work. But at the end of the day, this is my final four. I would have Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley, Bayley, and Ronda Rousey as my final four at the event here. Uh, you know, they're going around, they're doing waves, and uh, at the end of the day, Bayley and Becky eliminate each other, like legitimately kill each other over the top rope, and then Rhea Ripley eliminates Ronda Rousey to win the Women's Royal Rumble, and that would, uh, that's definitely what uh, I would book. I'd have Rhea Ripley, she's been the hottest women's superstar, she's one of the best women that got out there. Very fantastic. Uh, the year that she's had has been fantastic. Just the meteoric ride. I know she's been around a while. She's had championships, all these things, but she's really been uh, really, really good this year, and I think that uh, she's going to win the Royal Rumble. That's what I would book. I think that's the best case moving forward. And uh, you'd have Rhea Ripley versus Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania. She would challenge Alexa Bliss. That would be my case there. But that is the Women's Rumble. You know, not a whole lot there. I wanted to give the final four of what I would book and then the champion or the winner of that match would be Rhea Ripley. I think that's easy enough. All right, man, so getting into the men's Royal Rumble, it really isn't about the, the the same thing with the women. I just think that a few key things need to happen in my Royal Rumble. If I'm fantasy booking this going into WrestleMania season, you guys know this is the big prime time here. So I have a few things going on. I'll give you my final four. I'll give you some things that need to happen in the matchup and how I would book things. So let's go ahead and get started, man. First up, Randy Orton returns in this Royal Rumble, man. Randy Orton is going to return from injury. I think this is going to happen anyway, but I would book it this way. Randy Orton is going to return from injury, and he's going to stab Matt Riddle in the back, and he's going to eliminate him. So Randy Orton returns, maybe at the number 30, potentially. Maybe he's number 30. He will stab Matt Riddle in the back, throw him over the top rope, and uh, Matt, uh, Matt Riddle's gone, and uh, that sets up a Mania 
feud right there. So that is my first thing that I would need to happen. Another thing that needs to happen, Seth Rollins is going to eliminate Gunther from the Royal Rumble. Still stupid to call him that. I want to call him Walter, but I'll say Gunther. I'll, I'll be PC here. Seth Rollins eliminates Gunther and the Intercontinental Championship from the Rumble. So... Seth Rollins will set up his matchup for Mania in Gunther for the IC title. I think Rollins would probably is probably going to go on and win the IC title at WrestleMania to pay him off for all the things he's done this year and the past year. He, he has been simply just so good. He's been so damn good, and I think it's going to start here at the Rumble Hill, eliminate Walter or Gunther or vice versa. Maybe Gunther eliminates Seth Rollins setting up the Mania feud, but this is uh, vital stuff right here. Seth Rollins will eliminate Gunther, at least how I'm, how I'm booking it, Brad. Seth Rollins will eliminate Gunther setting up the IC title match at WrestleMania. Another one, John Cena is a surprise entrant in this year's Royal Rumble, at least from my booking perspective, and him and Theory will get into it. John Cena will eliminate Theory from the Royal Rumble. U.S. title match right there, John Cena and Austin Theory for the U.S. championship at WrestleMania. There you go, that's my booking there. Next up, Edge. Edge is going to return, and he's going to get payback on Finjamin Balor, and he's going to take out Finn Balor. I love Finn Balor so much. I mean, I love Edge too, but Edge is going to eliminate my boy from the from the Royal Rumble. I think, you know, Finn Balor's in the ring. Edge music hits. He comes out as a surprise entrant. Finn Balor's shocked, and he's like, what the hell? And Edge flies down, gives him a spear, beats the shish out of him, throws him over the top rope, setting up their Mania matchup. So Edge will eliminate Finn Balor. This one's pretty unique and cool. Uh, you guys know as well as I do, Brock Lesnar did return the other night on Monday Night Raw, and he f 5 Austin Theory f 5 Bobby Lashley setting up something with them. I think these two will eliminate each other from the Royal Rumble. Now, I love Brock Lesnar as much as anybody. Like, you, you'll never find a bigger advocate and bigger supporter of Brock Lesnar. One of the most underrated wrestlers of all time. I know. It's insane. Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley will eliminate each other. Now, if Brock Lesnar wins the, the damn Rumble, I, I, my, my disappointment will be immeasurable and my year will be ruined. But they will eliminate each other. I don't know what these crab jacks are doing back here but uh they're not involved in my final plans for the rumble drew mcintyre also not in plans and john cena would be eliminated from from the rumble at this point here is my final four i got cody rhodes randy orton seth rollins and edge as my final four this is my final four right here if you don't like it well make your own fantasy booking video damn it so this is my final four i think at the end of the day edge and orton are eliminated and your final two are going to be cody and seth in my royal rumble and i would fantasy book cody to eliminate seth rollins and win the Royal Rumble and go on to WrestleMania to dethrone Roman Reigns. And he would have two matches. Roman Reigns would have a matchup with Cody on night one and The Rock on night two. He would lose the WWE Championship to Cody on night one, and then he would defeat The Rock, holding on to the Universal Championship, you know, passing the throne there, and uh, he would retain on night two, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. Maybe he beats The Rock, and then he's feeling himself going into night two, and then he loses to Cody as the send-off. Maybe, yeah, I think that would be better, I think. But yeah, I think that's how I fantasy book it, bro. That would be my fantasy booking. You saw my surprise entrance. You saw my winner. Cody Rhodes wins the Royal Rumble if I'm booking it, and uh, we have the unique... WWE Universal Championship match between Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Roman at the Royal Rumble. And that wraps up my fantasy booking of 2023's Royal Rumble, man. Had a lot of fun writing out scripts and writing out ideas, you know. I don't think a lot of this stuff's gonna happen. Again, I will be doing my predictions soon, so we'll have my full-on predictions of what I actually think will take place at the show, but as far as fantasy booking, I always enjoy it, man. But that is gonna wrap up the fantasy booking 2023 Royal Rumble video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below on what you think is going to take place at the Royal Rumble. Are you excited? Are you going to the Royal Rumble? If you are, let me know, but I sure as hell going to be there. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll never